parents in a bind, how do they feed their child with limited options? WHO 13 Stephanie Johnson searched for ideas. Nowadays, heading to the grocery store can be a headache for parents looking for baby formula because of the shortage. So parents are calling on doctors. We get questions, messages through the portal, calls on the daily. Pediatric nurse practitioner Courtney Houston says desperate times are leading to desperate measures. Parents are making baby formula, which she says is harmful. Please do not make your own infant formula at home. I know that some of these recipes have ingredients that are readily available right now on the shelves at the grocery store, but those are not a safe alternative for infant formula at this point in time, because again, it can cause some nutritional electrolyte imbalances um, that is, are not good for babies. Experts say supply chain issues, rising gas prices, panic buying, and the shutdown of the Michigan Baby Formula Factory have led to the shortage. In a lot of other markets, the competitors would pick up the slack. Um, in baby formula, there's only three companies that control about 98% of the market in the United States. Um, so it's not like clothing or socks or so many other products where the, the competitors could pick up the slack if one company had a problem. So when will the shortage end? As a supply chain professor, uh, myself and my colleagues, we've been getting this question a lot about a lot of different products. And the answer is truly, I don't know. I don't know. In the meantime, experts recommend creating a buddy network. Ask friends to buy baby formula on their next trip to the grocery store. Also, try to stretch the baby formula, but try to avoid watering it down. Lastly, reach out to a breast milk bank where the milk is tested before distribution. And think twice before taking breast milk from another mom. Does she have any communicable diseases? Is she on any medications that might affect your baby? So while I can't advise doing that, I think there are questions that you can ask that if you're going to do that, you do it in the safest way possible. And the safest way for new parents to care for their infants is by reaching out to their child's pediatrician during these uncertain times. Stephanie Johnson, WHO 13 News.